With a world-class panel, Sunday's thematic session one discussed major topics in immunotherapy in genitourinary oncology, with a particular focus on whether single agents can be replaced with combination therapies. Kidney cancer is an immunogenic cancer, we know that. Kidney cancer tends to be infiltrated by immune cells. Kidney cancer also in the past has responded to immunotherapy strategies like high doses of interleukin-2. And kidney cancer also, when it's treated with the classical antiangiogenics, the system, the immune system gets modulated. So we get more infiltration of immune cells and also we get an upregulation of PDL1. I think that tells me there is a window of opportunity. I got a tumor that has to do with the immune system. I got a treatment that we've been utilizing for 15 years that modulates the immune system. So why not taking advantage of that and utilize immunotherapy sequence or combined with uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors with antiangiogenics? Based on the data that we've been discussing and that have been recently published, I think we're ready to say that probably combination therapy is going to replace monotherapy in metastatic kidney cancer in first line. I think only a small number of patients will be excluded from this treatment option in the near future. EAU TV is brought to you from the 34th annual EAU Congress in Barcelona. And if you'd like to watch more things like this, then you can click on these videos here. And you can also subscribe for the very best in medicine, from psychology to urology, from gynecology to genetics.